Today we'll be looking at the wave shape uh, function in Nemesis. It's been a while since I've done a tutorial, but uh, there will be a couple tutorials today. So let's get started. The, the wave shape the wave shape function in Nemesis just basically uh, takes a harmonic of the frequency modulation and intersects it and then kind of wave shapes with the modulator into the carrier creating some complex waveforms. So basically you're getting this shaping this right here which is pretty neat. So. And the only way this is going to work is if this is above 100%. If this was like right here. If it's not above zero, you're not going to get that. If it's around 100, you're going to get the full effect. Now let's initialize this. And those are some terrible waveforms to be showing you. Um... Let's try a format saw and a, uh, let's try a sync. You can get some really good leads with this. Like, especially if you use the filter on, uh, your carrier and you use a little bit of the envelope you can get some like nasty like bases with this too like and that's a terrible example but you can get some nice stuff what I usually like to do and this is a tip is uh is let's have like a let's have a soft FM like like uh, wave like that just kind of cut it off with the filter a little bit and use a saw and uh, I want to make sure I'm on there and you'll kind of get a hybrid of you can get some nice transitions while moving this knob. Remember to experiment with the phase and all the modes. You'll get some nice stuff. Even even cleaning it up with the phase will kind of give you some nice detail in your sound. Um, that's about it for the soft version. The hard version uh, takes that frequency and shapes it harder than than the last one with the FM which tone 2 you know it's un it's a unique wave shaper than you know than Rob Pappen's Blue 2 they're both different they may share the same name and the same concept but they're both different okay so uh this uh has a bit of a a bit of a harder harder sound you can create some droney shit with this. You can create a. I like to use this for bases. Um. See how we got that sound a little bit? And you can get some really nice like sounds like this little housey style like pluck. Kind of sounds like a spire preset. You 
may want to keep the key track up a little bit too. It kind of gives you a better sound quality when the notes follow the the Neo FM modulation knob. So we created kind of a guitar-like tone with this one. Let's do the same thing with the second oscillator, and but let's have it on a soft mode. Let's have it on the wave shape soft. So uh, what I usually do when I'm making presets for uh, Nemesis is I bring down the the first oscillator, the carrier wave, so we don't hear nothing when I'm pressing a key down. But uh, I like to bring this one up a little bit. Strange, we still don't hear hear nothing. But uh well yeah, I know why. Cuz <laughs> cuz the uh the modulation was not up there. So it has to be above 0. Or you're going to get this static like noise with some waveforms. Some waveforms won't even play at all. And uh just like I said before, this is way different than your this is way different than your uh than your typical uh blue two wave shaping and this is this is uh this is their own flavor of wave shaping I sincerely apologize for the noises you hear in the background. Um, somebody's being a dickhead and they're making noise in the background out there. Um, but, uh, yeah, just mess around with this. You know, you can get... You can get some nice sounds out of this. Um... Remember to, you know, use like the LFOs, like let's say we have the LFO on, on FM1, and we'll bring this down, and you can get some like bassy textures, sounds a bit, that sounds a little like shit, but you can really get some nice basses out of the wave shaping mode within Nemesis, but uh, yeah, this is Sebastian. Subscribe if you want. A lot more videos on the way. Sebastian out.